This is a little display pen that has three species in it. I don't know if you can. There we go. Barn owl, a shorted owl, and a northern harrier. So this is a small pen. So we have like a double door system. So I can get in, close the door behind me, and then open this door and go inside. Yep. Move it carefully. On the ground. Not very good at seeing. Oh, there we go. That was the Northern Harrier. She'll probably go back. Oh, there she is. So Northern Harriers are a hawk um, that nest on the ground, as are short-eared owls, who also nest on the ground. So Harriers are diurnal. They're active during the day. Short-eared owls are crepuscular. They're active at dawn and dusk. And then we take a little walk over, whoops, over here into, there we go. This is Carmen. Now, my guess is the second day in a row, Carmen has been in the box. And my guess is Carmen is sitting on eggs. She lays eggs every spring. And even though it's not officially spring, the birds think it's spring. And since Carmen is the only barn owl in here, her eggs are not fertile. But if we get in a really little baby barn owl, I can come in here and remove an egg and substitute a baby barn owl. And Carmen will be a foster mom. So that's kind of a cool thing we can do with Carmen. And here is that little short-eared owl. And you can see his little ear tufts. They aren't, hence their name, short-eared owl. And all these birds can be in here together because they all eat similar things, mice, um, other kinds of rodents, maybe small birds, and they generally do not eat each other. So we can keep them all together and it works just fine.